Hello everyone, Desert Gardener here, and today is going to be part six of my year-long series of growing tomatoes and peppers in the desert. And today, we're up potting our peppers. So, let's get started. So if you're following along, you should have a tray full of uh, pepper seedlings right now. Now, if you're not, there's still time. I'm going to have a playlist at the end. You can uh, watch the first five, and there's still plenty of time to catch up. But right now, it's uh, mid-February. Now, I normally do this early February, but the weather was a little bad, and I was kind of busy. So it's right around Valentine's Day, and it's time. Actually, it's a little over time to uh, pot these peppers. They're getting a little... Uh, getting a little big for these small trays. So let's talk about uh, what you're going to need today. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is a tray, like this one here. Now, I recommend getting the, uh, the microgreen trays, the ones that are either white inside or green. Uh, you don't want to get the black ones like the one here. Uh, they're simply not strong enough to hold the weight that we're gonna be putting in it. Then, we're going to need 18 of these three and a half by three and a half square nursery pots. Then we're going to need a way to mark all the, uh, the pots so we know what's in them. Now you can use uh, popsicle sticks or whatever you prefer, but if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I like to use uh, clothespins. I just take a little Sharpie, I write the name of the plant on it, and stick it right here on the corner. It's been working really great for me. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is um, a way to get the peppers out of the tray. Now you can use a popsicle stick or a, maybe a butter knife. I like to use a, an old uh, flathead screwdriver. Whatever works for you. You're also going to need a uh, garden trowel to help move the uh, potting soil around. You're going to need some sort of liquid fertilizer. You can use whatever liquid fertilizer you want. Uh, it's important that once they get to this size that you start fertilizing them. And um, it, it needs to be a liquid fertilizer because the granular fertilizer takes too long to break down. And whenever you up pot or transplant a plant, you should always fertilize it with a liquid fertilizer. Now I'm using this, uh, what is it, uh, Kellogg's Organic Fish and Kelp. But again, you can use whatever you prefer. And I've got it measured out in my uh, little thing here all ready to go. And last but not least, you're gonna need some sort of potting mix. Now, um, I did a whole video on potting mix a while back, so rather than go over all that uh, a second time, I'm just gonna link to that down below and hopefully, hopefully you're using whatever potting mix that you like. So, I think we're ready to go. Now, the first thing you may notice is I have 18, uh, little pots right here, but I definitely have more than 18 seedlings here. So there are two uh, things you can do about that. The first one is the obvious thing, is you can get two trays and two sets of 18 pots and a second grow light. Um, because once I get these all potted in, I'm gonna put them back under the grow lights. But if you, um, my second set of grow lights is right now being used with my tomato seedlings and I don't have room for a third or a fourth set of grow lights. I don't want to buy a bunch of new stuff. So you can do what I do, and I get a bunch of these four inch pots, and I'm gonna start with the largest plants that I have here, and I'm gonna put them in these four inch pots, and I'm gonna put these pots in the window sills of my home. Then once I run out of those, then I'm gonna start filling up the smaller pots, and then everything else, uh, working my way down in size, and everything else is not going to get potted up. These little teeny ones you may see over here, they're just not uh, performing. They're, not, they're too uh, small, they're too puny. They're never going to produce very well. So I know I hate to do it, but you really have to. Um, those small ones are going to go into the compost pile, and I'm not going to be planting those. So let's, uh, let's get started. I've already got this one about halfway full of soil. I'm going to take my uh, screwdriver, and this is my biggest plant. I'm going to stick it down in there, and just wedge it out, hold it up very lightly, plop it in. Now I hold it up with two fingers, 
With the other two fingers, I hold the bottom of the pot and shovel in some soil. There we go. And push it in a little bit. If need to, we can, we can put a stake in here to help it hold upright, but it seems to be uh, working pretty well. Then we're going to give it uh, some water. And again, this has our, uh, our liquid fertilizer in it. And I may, st yeah, I may stake this after all. A little bit more over here. And then in a window this is going to go. And I'm going to do the rest of them. And we'll be all set. Now, it's, again, it's uh, mid-February now. In uh, a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with all my tomato plants. And in a couple of weeks after that, it's going to be time to take these that I'm potting up now and start hardening them off. And that's going to be my next video. So if you want to be part of that, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.